Man, I never thought this was going to be possible. The settings that I'm going to share with you here might become your eyes favorite settings. And the reason is I am reducing the blue lights to the minimum. But the problem is when you do that, the picture quality suffers and it usually looks terrible. Not here. <laughs> what I accomplish with these settings are just incomprehensible. Okay, I'm going to show you some skin tones, but you have to try this yourself. You have to see it in person. And this is going to work on the PS5, bro. <laughs> on the Xbox, PC, even to watch movies. Especially if you want to be playing games before going to sleep. Blue lights are nasty for your eyes and it messes up your sleep. Okay, it affects your circadian rhythm and it just give you a bad night okay sometimes it can give you a bad night so if you like to play before going to sleep these settings are a must a must and me personally i was not using blue light filter settings because it, the picture quality just goes down the toilet okay i didn't like it a lot uh, at all so i never thought that, that this was going to be possible but let me show you bro just wanted to show you GTA because you know we're all familiar with this game and I am recording this video with 6000K um, the color temperature of the recording to match what I achieve with this settings so try to be as close as what I see in front of me but you have to try it yourself so let me show you here with some skin tones what I accomplished look at this <laughs> This is significantly warmer than filmmaker mode out of the box, but it doesn't look green. <laughs> it looks fantastic. It is just incomprehensible. Just look at this. Look at the skin tones. How? How is this possible? Look at that. There's no ugly yellow. There's no... It's just, this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And if you have a different TV, I strongly recommend you to do the same that I did here. And just basically calibrate your display to have some great looking blue light killer settings. Because your eyes are going to thank you for that. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to do... This is HDR settings, okay? So this works for any HDR material. And I'm using Filmmaker because I am doing more than I'm doing several calibrations, but this works for game optimizer mode, of course, it's the same. So let me show you what we have to do here. And this works for the SDR HDR trick without black frame insertion, which is what I am using right now. And it works for native HDR, auto HDR for everything. So and you know, Xbox, PS5, whatever you're using. So we're going to do a two-point calibration and this is the most important step and I would recommend you to use these settings and then do the 22-point minor tweakings on your own LG OLED, okay? Because, you know, each TV is different, but this is going to get you very close just to begin with before you start the calibration. And my target was... 6,000K, so 5950K. Actually, that was the target, not 6,000. 5950K. And that is the color temperature that I was getting when I use blue light filter. Okay? So, my recommendation would be this use the camera of your phone. Come here and select reduce blue light. Okay? So, when you select this reduce blue light, open the full screen grayscale uh, test patterns that I share with you, link in the description of the video. And then you point the camera of your cell phone with that app, the color temperature meter app, and you will see the color temperature, okay? So it doesn't matter if your camera is uncalibrated, whatever the number is, it might be 5,000, it might be 6,500, whatever you see, on your cell phone you are going to calibrate with that target that's exactly what I did so instead of using this reduced blue light 
you are going to achieve that warmer color temperature but now you're going to get a much better picture quality because using this reduced blue light at least on this LG C1 looks terrible because it is very inconsistent the color temperature goes very low on the lower end of the gray scale and that's why it looks so yellow and ugly okay it looks very very bad because it's very inconsistent so here's my recommendation and you can copy these settings just to see how it looks you know again this is the SDR HDR trick you don't have to use this for native HDR just use 50 black level 50 and HGIG if the game has a sliders or it supports the system level calibration so to begin with two-point calibration lower the green to minus 18 and lower the blue <coughs> to the minimum okay so 50 is the minimum value for the blue it doesn't go any lower than that it is exactly what that blue light filter setting is doing it's just a messed up white balance really so I start with that and then go here to low and increase the blue to 4 and the green to 1 so now again you can double check these values the reason why I have to increase the blue in the low is because otherwise the color temperature on the lower end of the gray scale it goes down significantly and it looks warmer so I want to keep that same 59 50k consistent across the entire gray scale okay so now my second recommendation is do a 22 point calibration on top of that to fine tune to make it even more consistent go here do a 22 point calibration and this applies really to any tv it doesn't matter what tv you have open on your tv click on the setting that is the blue light filter setting and do the same see how what is the color temperature it doesn't matter what number you get on your cell phone you're going to use that number as the target and what you're going to achieve is just a better looking blue light killer settings that's it that's what I'm doing here so now I'll select this 22 point calibration and I'm gonna show you my numbers my calibration but this is something that I uh, encourage you to do it yourself so now you also need to see and to consider the magenta to green balance and all these settings are going to be in the description anyway so you don't worry I'll show you but you can copy it from the description so you need to see what is the magenta to green balance and my recommendation is to first use the accurate settings the out-of-the-box accurate settings that your TV has in this case you know, for this LG OLED filmmaker mode and then see what is the magenta to green balance that your cell phone is reading and use that as the reference okay so on my case what I am reading is 0 0.003 leaning towards green using my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra but in my experience calibrating with that target calibrating with 0 0.002 with 0 0.003 and even with 0 0.001 I discovered that the best is just before hitting 0 0.003 okay so if I calibrate the entire grayscale even if not I'm not talking about creating a blue light killer settings any settings that I create any settings that I want to create if I calibrate with 0 0.002 leaning towards green it looks fantastic it looks very 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 good but I see that it is looking a little bit magenta just a little bit and if I calibrate with 0 0.003 it looks a little bit leaning towards green so I learned I discover by experimenting that the middle is the best so what I am targeting is 0 0.002 and I click one more green and I'm getting 0 0.003 that's that's my target my target for each picture for the entire grayscale is to get 0 0.003 but barely you know just one click on the green boom it's 0 0.003 so that was my target that's why it looks so good that's very important 
for the skin tones, that magenta to green balance. If you go too green, the skin tones look green. If you go too magenta, the skin tones look a little bit towards red, which looks very good. <laughs> anyway, it looks very good. Uh, I much rather have the faces looking a little bit red than looking a little bit green. But the best is to find that middle. So experiment with your own display. But this is my recommendation. So now let me show you the 22 point calibration that I did here. Okay, 22 point calibration. So I'm, I started at 374, okay? And it is very important to focus first on the two point calibration because the better you get the two point calibration, the less you have to work on the 22 point calibration, okay? And they are stacking together. So they are working together at the same time. So I selected here the code value 374 and then green one, blue four. Then 332, green one, blue five. 282, green one, blue two. Go down, I'm going down. 218, green minus two, blue minus one. 135, blue minus two. 48, green four, blue minus two. And 15, I don't see it. So the red, we don't touch the red. That's the rule here for this WRGV OLED. We don't touch the red. We just keep the red alone and we calibrate moving the, the green and the blue. So try these settings. My recommendation is try the two point calibration first. See how that looks. Okay. <laughs> it's very impressive. Like, I just, I, like I'm absolutely blown away with the result. It's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, give this a try and do it yourself. Do it on your own TV. Even if you have a different TV, an LCD, whatever you have, try to get some great looking blue light killer settings because your eyes are going to thank you. Especially if you play competitive play games. I mean, if you play Call of Duty all day long, every day, I mean, this is a very, 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 you know, eye saving <laughs> settings, okay? This is just so, 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 so important that you have no idea. Your eyes are going to thank you a lot, a lot. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions, I have the settings here. I'm going to copy it on the description of the video so you can see them. But maybe you can see it on the video too here. It's uh, too small. Yeah, it's too small. I will have it on the description of the video. Let me know if you have any questions and if you're doing the calibration yourself, um, I'm going to link this on the description of this video. I'm going to have a link to the quick guide that I made for that app. And yeah, at that moment, I didn't know some of the details that I share with you here on this video, but you can see how basically the process, how, how I do it. But I know much better now. I know much better now. And I'm going to follow up this video with native HDR, you know, with the best, you know, picture quality calibration for native HDR, which I already did. <laughs> but these settings, I consider them to be even more important because we're talking about the health of your eyes, especially if you play a lot or if you play late before going to sleep. So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.